Hello, and welcome back again to SV Ramble On. We do a lot of do-it-yourself work on the boat, and a lot of that comes from experience and just being familiar with tools and techniques and things like that. If you do something you see on my channel and you burn your boat down, uh, don't blame me for it. Thank you. So if you haven't seen the video of installing the Isotemp water heater, we put in an Isotemp Slim 15, a little round barrel looking thing. Uh, we stuffed it up under the sink, everything was nice and great. 14 months in, we blew a gasket that was improperly installed from the factory. We had to take the whole thing apart. They sent us a gasket under warranty. We did the repair. So anyway, about a year after fixing the gasket, we noticed, uh, one day I opened up the locker uh, to get underneath the sink and noticed that the cover uh, for the water heater wiring connections had a nice little melty spot in it. Took the thing apart, found some uh, scorched wires and took pictures of it. We didn't make a video about it or anything, but uh, took pictures of it, uh, spliced myself some new repairs out of whatever wire I had on hand, you know, made those repairs accordingly. I think when I put the water heater back together after the, uh, the first gasket blowout repair, I routed it incorrectly. It got too close to a hot point, uh, which should have been insulated with uh, some sort of, they have an insulated jacket on the thing. Long story short, I woke up Saturday morning, no hot water. Started taking things apart, pulled the cover off, started looking, started hearing this crackling noise, like sounded like arcing. Shut everything down, took it all apart, found some additional scorched wire, had to trim the pigtail off. I ended up busting the little capillary tube off the thermostat, uh, which is a, it's actually a pretty piss poor design if you ask me. Right there, there's this little capillary tube. Basically, after horsing around with it once or twice, the whole thing came off. Had to order a new thermostat from Isotemp and noticed that they improved their design to protect that hard bend in the capillary tube. They put a little plastic bracket around there that keeps this thing from getting jacked with too much. I need to install this thing, get hot water back on the boat. If you do things like this, and I did as my own rule of thumb, took a lot of pictures when I took it apart. However, when I put it back together, I did not put it back together just like the pictures. Let's get back underneath that locker and I'll show you what I had to do. All right now, welcome under our galley sink. This is where we stash the water heater. Uh, right here is the sink drain. Uh, I had incorrectly routed the wires up here next to this thermostat. This thing needs to come up the outside and make its connections to this little guy. This is the new thermostat right here. Right inside here, there's a hole that this primary thermostat goes into where this little coily tubey thing full of inert gas goes into the middle of the water heater tank. You slide this thing into here and you gotta make it fit with the other one. The tube is big enough for two thermostats. This is the secondary thermostat. Try not to bend the capillary tube and break it, Rich. You pull it out past the insulation, and then you can stick them both in. And they're supposed to be both in the same distance. You gotta carefully coil this capillary tube. It's like 1 64th inch inside diameter copper. You can see a green wire back here. That's the ground, the hot, neutral, ground. I've got this cup of antioxidant that I usually put on wire connections and stuff. I don't like these because first off this extension cord that comes from the factory is not marine grade wire. These things are little pinch terminals and I guess generally they're okay but in this instance they created arcing and scoring and I could see the insulation was burnt so there was some sort of a problem with the initial connections and the thermostat. I think initially I had kinked the thermostat to begin with when I put it back together after the gasket seal repair. Those two wires are in and these are the ones that the trickiest ones with the heat shield around them because they wrap around this secondary thermostat. These go over the top and then this precious little heat shield comes up and protects the wires from overheating. So now these wires should not touch and affect the other thermostat and arc out and ultimately short something. This brown wire goes to the outside connection. This wire here with this Anchor Marine uh, crimp female goes onto the male of here. 
This is the one I had to change the last time the wiring fried and melted that gray plastic cover. This is the cord plugged in now to the dedicated outlet that controlled by the 15 amp breaker on the panel, which is only for the water heater. I'm going to flip that thing on and see if we start getting amps. So anyway, this thing's making water. I'm going to leave it sit until I'm confident and then I'll put the cover back on, but I'm going to watch it and make sure everything's cool. What was happening is the black lead got overheated, compromised the insulation in the wire. The wire was arcing on the bracket that holds the secondary gray, this gray uh, thermostat. And it was arcing on that bracket, which is grounded to the case, which is grounded to the outlet, which eventually would have hopefully tripped the breaker. Best case scenario. Worst case scenario, I don't know, a little spark ignites something that we keep stored underneath the galley sink. Like, you know, poof, it could have been a problem. So everything's put back into place, loaded up the sink cabinet again. Feeling the water heater is, it's not as hot as it used to be. I think uh, that pinched thermostat tube was causing this thing to get hot overall. And that was creating the issue. Before this thing failed this time, I noticed the water was coming out really hot out of the tap and like about 130 degrees. So the water temperature is adjustable from the cold. It's got a cold water mixing valve that keeps everything at a desired temperature. Get the door on. Put that project to bed. I just want to reiterate, uh, if you do some, if you do tackle projects like this, be sure and just be safe about it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. That really helps us out. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. If you got any comments, please leave them down below because I'm sure, uh, I'm sure people are going to have something to say about this one. Uh, it could have been bad. Uh, luckily, it wasn't. Generally, we always turn the water heater off when we leave the boat for any extended period of time anyway. There's no sense paying electricity to uh, heat water when we're not using it. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and our own website, which is svramblon.com. Thanks again for watching, and stay safe.